Hello friends, Zeb Olson here and this is 10 steps to speed up your computer. This is a simple step by step that anybody can follow regardless of your computer experience, expertise and skills. I also have a downloadable PDF and article available at zebolson.com which goes into greater detail and also provides the direct links that I'm going to be referring to throughout this video. I have these steps in a particular order for a reason and I'm confident that if you follow them to a T, you your CPU will be back running up as fast as it possibly can given the hardware you have in your computer. Now step one is to do a thorough antivirus scan of your computer. I don't care if you're using Norton, McAfee, antivirus, uh, ESET, which is my preferred antivirus program, it's a bit pricey, or AVG, which is a very, very high quality free antivirus program that you can get for free at free.avg.com. It is fantastic. It's the best free one available. I would even go so far as to saying that it's better than Norton and it's better than McAfee. Okay, so start with doing a thorough antivirus scan of your computer. Make sure your virus definitions are up to date. That way we make sure that we get rid of any bugs or viruses that may be hanging around and causing different issues. Step number two is we need to remove the malware that has found its way onto your computer, meaning adware and spyware, which both equals bad news. The inconvenience of malware slowing down your computer is actually the least of your worries. Spyware can compromise your privacy, more importantly your security, by recording your keystrokes to steal credit card information, personal information, usernames and passwords, and more. How are we going to do this? We're going to use the best free malware removal software that you can get, SpyBot Search and Destroy. And there's actually a lot of malware and adware programs disguising themselves as SpyBot Search and Destroy, so it's a little tricky to know that you're actually getting this program. And so I've provided a link in my blog post at zebolson.com here's the the address to the actual post and in the PDF file that you can download and share with others okay and that link will take you to a page that looks like this you're gonna download it from this place securitywonks.net click this little button download now install it run it and then you will have spybot search and destroy to remove all your malware adware and spyware from your computer. Once you've gone through the install wizard this is what the user interface of SpyBot Search and Destroy will look like. The first thing that you're going to do is click this button with the binoculars that says check for problems. It's going to do a full scan of your computer for any adware and spyware that you have and trust me you likely have some. Once it does the scan you'll be shown a list quickly scan through the list you likely don't want any of it and click fix and it will take care of them all next thing you want to do after it's done that is click on this immunize button and this will help prevent adware and spyware from finding itself back on your computer in the near future step three is system maintenance you're going to utilize the link provided in the article or the PDF file or if you're in YouTube in the set in the more info section on the right to download your free tune-up utilities 2009 okay once you have that downloaded and installed you're going to have two icons on your desktop double click the one that looks like this for your one-click maintenance this is what it looks like on my desktop and I will go ahead and run this. It's going to correct registry problems in the system components, programs, and find structural defects. It's also going to remove invalid shortcuts from the desktop and quick launch bar, start menu, and history list. It's going to free up disk space by removing temporary files that you don't need and it will check your hard drive to find out if it needs a defrag. Once one click maintenance has run its scan, it has show you what problems it's found and you have a one click correct problems and it will go through and correct the problems just like that. Step four is to optimize your system. When you install TuneUp Utilities, you should have a icon on your desktop. If not, it'll be in your programs. Run TuneUp Utilities 2009 when you open up this program it will initiate a scan 
for your maintenance, speed, and health of your computer. And as you can see, it's working in the background analyzing my system's components. And it will give me a number of recommendations in each one of these categories. Now it's showing that I'm optimized with the exception of health over here because I've recently ran this and I've ran all of this prior to doing this video which is why you're not going to see as many problems on my computer as you're going to see on your computer when you run this. You'll have a details button at the bottom of each category. Click the details button I take the recommendations that they recommend for the most part, which I'm going to show you uh, right now, and just do what they say. In speed, however, I want to make a quick note. I'm going to go ahead and click on details in speed. It's going to run a quick tune-up speed optimizer, and then it's going to show recommendations over here. Now, if you don't have things optimized, you'll be able to click optimize all. Now one thing that I want to show you is when you first run this, you're going to have something come up like this where you will have to click on this down arrow and select what type of internet that you have, what speed of internet you have, and if you don't know your speed, go to internetspeedtest.net and click on the yellow star when you get there and it'll take a few seconds and it'll show you what your speed is. Okay, I'm running DSL and I have 10 meg internet and so the most appropriate selection for me at this point is the 6 meg and up. Here's what I wanted to make a special note on which is optimizing the visual effects. I don't optimize the visual effects because I like the way that my icons look. I like the way that my windows look and I didn't want it to do anything different. Now if you don't care then you can do the maximum performance regardless of visual appearance and it'd take you back to a Windows classic look. However I just wanted to point that out that if you like the way that your windows look then don't optimize the visual effects. It doesn't have that much of an effect unless your system really has a uh, if, if it's an older system low amounts of RAM uh, low processor speed and that's what I wanted to point out right here was just this that way you don't run this and you're like what the heck happened to my computer okay so let's get out of here like I said I take their um, their recommendations and just do what they say